This tutorial requires intermediate skills, takes a bunch of hours to prep, I actually don't remember how many, but a bunch. Application time though is really quick. As for money, the foam sheets were the most expensive parts, a cheapo jumpsuit and the top we had since before, so not that much actually. Let's do this. Hi Ellie. Now let's start this by checking out the different pieces for Hella's headpiece. And well, we begin with this small one, of course you need to find yourself a reference image of that massive headpiece. And then we have something looking like this one in the back. And these massive ones going forward there. That actually looks insane. And two of these. So we only have one because we're going to show you how we made these. As you might have guessed, we uh, based this off of aluminium foil and masking tape. If you want to save yourself some time, you can use black electrical tape instead of the masking tape. Then you don't have to paint it black. But well, we figured we wanted to do something a bit different this time. Anyways, shape it, add more aluminium foil as you go on. Don't push it together too hard until the end. You want to keep it shapeable, flexible. And there we go, our two pieces and just wrap it up with tape. And should you feel you want to trim or adjust the shapes and size, just trim along as you shape it and tape it. Yup, fantastic, the two final pieces in place. Then it's paint job time and we're going for a black spray and to make sure we're not breathing in any dangerous fumes, we actually went with a water-based spray paint. If you can find one like that, use good ventilation when you spray or do it outside. We continue with the headpiece and for that we're going to use foam sheets like this with one side adhesive. So we just peel that off and throw it onto our head there. We've added some clay there as well under that plastic foil just to give it some extra size because that little head is really small. So otherwise that headpiece would not fit us very well. And in this lesson we're going to use the word hela, uh, which actually means the whole or all of it in Swedish. So if you want to say the whole cake in Swedish, it's hela tortan. With our pieces in place, we rip the whole thing off just to make sure it actually fit Ellie's head here. Cut off some excess for there. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's continue. And this little edge here, which Ellie is indenting with her claws, we're gonna cut that off later because we need that edge to be round and nice. So, and when we feel that headpiece fits well and we have straightened out some of the edges there, it's time to find another reference image of the front. The adhesive side of the foam sheets is white, so we can draw straight onto that and create the pattern there. Then we can easily follow it when we cut it out with a pair of scissors. And of course, we ran out of black foam sheets because they were just sold in packets of a variety of different colors. So, well, we are gonna have to paint the whole thing anyway. Cut those pieces out and simply attach them straight on. If you don't have adhesive foam sheets, you can always add a little bit of glue there to stick them in place.
And there we go. All the pieces are in place. And now we need to continue with those horns. But first, let's check out Flow SFX makeup on Instagram. Some really nasty and <laughs> fleshy stuff there. Go check it out to give her some look. All right, glue gun and yeah, those black painted horns. And we simply push them straight on there. Make sure the surface you glue on is fairly flat though. The aluminium foil is really easy to flatten out, so it shouldn't be a problem. And when you've got them in place, let's hide these rough foil edges with additional foam sheets there. And they will also help to stabilize and keep those horns in place. And thanks to the aluminium foil construction, they weigh basically nothing. I was really skeptical to, um, to the process here of them actually sticking, but they did. And they, uh, they really, really hung in there through the whole process. So yeah, it works. Had to cut that piece in two, make sure it was secured properly. And then slap that piece over both those edges. And before we paint all this in a black coat of uh, glossy spray, we need to fill out some of the edges and we need to make it really shiny and smooth. So we go over the whole thing with hobby glue. And you can either use a thickening agent to get that glue a bit thicker, or you can simply coat it a few times to smooth out all those edges and to make the surface really, really shiny and glossy. And when the glue has a nice dry surface, you can start painting it in glossy black spray. That headpiece is gonna look the bomb. But now let's continue with the suit. So here we have a black jumpsuit pretty basic. It's thrown onto a mannequin because we want to stretch that fabric when we glue the green bands on. And well, if you are handy with a sewing machine, by all means, sew these on might be much better. But this approach also works. So again, take your time to find a nice reference image and get gluing or sewing. Is it only me or are you also getting a Tron vibe from, from these green bands? Tron or not, we need black arms as well as something to attach our cape to. So we sacrifice this black turtleneck and just cut off that neck and also cut off the bottom half. Now we just have the arms. Looks like a pair of pants actually. <laughs> Of course, when you put it on later, it's going under the jumpsuit. So, yeah, there's the cape. And now, what? Hello, where did she go? Oh my God. Put it on, we fold the edge like this and glue it straight on to that poor little piece of arm that we cut out from the turtleneck. There we go. Fold it and put it in place. The same on the other side and then you have something looking like this. And before we do the folds that will make this whole thing drape well, let's stick the center to the center. And to get it to drape well, we need to glue a 
Attach. Glue. Fold it over. And then glue again. And keep going until you hit that center. Just folding that piece over each time you go. There you go. We then continue with additional green strips here on the arms. For the top piece of the arm there, we cut out two pieces like this. Glue them on, just like that. And to tidy those edges up a bit, we add electrical tape straight over that edge and fold it down behind it. And the same for the lower edge. And now that our headpiece has dried up, let's decorate some more with gold. Applying it and then using a fingertip to drag it out and smudge it out, slowly letting it fade out upwards. And there we go. Looking pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna shut my pie hole and leave you to Ellie. Hey babes, our costume is finally done or kind of done. We need to fix a little bit more green uh, lines here on my neck. The little helmet hat thing also done. I need to figure out a way to get my hair inside the helmet and still be able to get the helmet on my head. So we'll see. Um, but first off, we're gonna put this on. Um, because this is a turtleneck, I need to be able to like stretch it over my head. So I couldn't glue this to it because then I wouldn't be able to get it on. And I can't glue it now because then I can't get it off. So I'm going to just tie it around my neck. Very uh, simple pimple and it's gonna be beautiful. So that's what we're doing. So my first little uh, strip here um, is fine with tying, but the rest, or the last one, is a bit tricky to get on. So I'm going to do a very quick and dirty solution. I'm going to put like a little bit of glue right here so that I can just rip it off um, when I need to take this costume off the body. So, um, <laughs> so I'm going to do a little bit of glue. And this fabric is very thick, so this won't burn me. If you have a costume with a very thin fabric, you should not glue it when it's on. We are going to need two little pieces like this, and we're going to continue this line up to it. Now, let's move on to my hair. I don't know if this is going to work. What do you think? Should I cut off all my hair? Okay, so my hair is pinned in. I found a hair net that will kind of work, get all the little hairs in place. Um, so it's time to put the helmet on my head. I'm gonna just 
destroy my brows. Can I do this? Simple. Can you see it? So most of my hair is inside this thing. A little bit is coming out here. So my idea is to spray whatever's pointing out black. So now we're gonna go for the last step, which is gluing this to my cheeks. Can I wear anything when I have it like this? Um, ooh, and I have some hairspray, I need to clean this off. Um, also the makeup, I have done this off camera because I didn't think it was gonna be something that was super fun for you to watch. Um, but what I've done is my normal base, a nice uh, pink lippy, and then smoky eyes. So it's very, very simple, just a black, gray eyeshadow on your eyes, and then lashes, and you're good to go. And securing those pieces to the face there is the last step. And after that, yep, you are ready to go to that con or Halloween party. Looking the bomb. So tell us what you think about this creation. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you think you are going to try to recreate it? Let us know in the comments and yup! Halloween is creeping closer, so what are your plans for this Halloween? Are you even thinking about it at this very minute? Tell us in the comments what your plans are. Partying, scaring people or just hanging out in your sofa with a pizza. See you soon. Bye.